Question 1. Which of the following approaches provides the reliability necessary to support a tightly integrated manufacturing operation? A. Preventive maintenance. B. Group technology. C. A Kanban system. D. Computer integrated manufacturing. Answer is A. Preventive maintenance. Question 2. Which of the following statements about high volume repetitive manufacturing is true? A. Machinery and workers must be flexible. B. Talk time is variable. C. There is very little stocking of intermediate assemblies. D. Throughput times are generally long. Answer is C. There is very little stocking of intermediate assemblies. Question 3. Objectives of implementing a work cell include which of the following outcomes? A. Increasing worker satisfaction. B. Organizing resources by raw material type. C. Implementing standard work. D. Sharing common equipment. Answer is A. Increasing worker satisfaction. Question 4. Which of the following statements about the MRP due date for a shop order is true? A. It is the same as operation priority. B. It is used in deriving operation priority. C. It is established at order release time and frozen until order completion. D. It is equal to the due date plus 5 M days. Answer is B. It is used in deriving operation priority. Question 5. A company produces a part with a nominal diameter of 2.0 inches and a tolerance of 0.006 with a standard deviation of 0.001 inches. A sample has the average diameter of 1.996 inches with a standard deviation of 0.001 inches. What is the CPK and process capability? A. 0.667, capable. B. 0.667, not capable. C. 0.333, capable. D. 0.333, not capable. Answer is B. 0.667, not capable. Question 6. Which of the following actions helps product design and development pursue a strategy of first to market? A. Coordinating with product engineering. B. Developing warranty specifications. C. Finding the lowest cost suppliers. D. Flowcharting current processes. Answer is A. Coordinating with product engineering. Question 7. The average length of time a job must wait at a work center is a function of the A. Operation duration. B. Estimated start date. C. Plan size of the queue. D. Transportation time to the work center. Answer is C. Plan size of the queue. Question 8. After some investigation, a packaging company determined that all of its defective containers were being delivered by one of their third-party trucking companies. What quality tool would have been used to find this information? A. Check sheet. B. Pareto diagram. C. Plan do check action. D. Process flow diagram. Answer is A. Check sheet. Question 9. Which of the following performance metrics best measures customer satisfaction? A. Orders released on schedule. B. Orders changed after release. C. Orders shipped on first promise date. D. Orders received on customer requested date. Answer is D. Orders received on customer requested date. Question 10. Which of the following characteristics are found in a good quality management system? A. It covers a broad range of activities. B. It emphasizes sampling inspection. C. It relies on qualitative measurements. D. It reduces variability in the workplace. Answer is D. It reduces variability in the workplace. Question 11. Select the process performed in the analyze section of the DMAIC process. A. Identify control subjects. B. Ascertain critical to quality characteristics. C. Test hypotheses. D. Identify possible problems. Answer is C. Test hypotheses. Question 12. If an operation on a routing is performed out of sequence and the change in sequence is not reported to the formal system, which of the following situations will occur? A. An alternate routing will be created. B. The capacity requirements planning data will be inflated. C. The order will appear on a dispatch list in the wrong work center. D. The error will be corrected by cost accounting. Answer is C. The order will appear on a dispatch list in the wrong work center. Question 13. Mixed model scheduling results in which of the following benefits? A. Improved efficiency. B. Less headcount required. C. Lower finished goods inventory. D. Increased forecast accuracy. Answer is C. Lower finished goods inventory. 
Question 14. Which of the following applications is an effective use of electronic data interchange? A. Routing. B. Price increase. C. Advanced shipment notice. D. Return material authorization. Answer is C. Advanced shipment notice. Question 15. Throughput for a family of parts can be increased by use of which of the following approaches? A. Cell layout. B. Functional layout. C. High utilization. D. Batch processing. Answer is A. Cell layout. Question 16. Standard costing systems may encourage production managers to do which of the following activities? A. Concentrate on easy orders to maintain high productivity ratios. B. Implement theory of constraints. C. Implement lean production systems to reduce cycle times. D. Build finished goods inventory to net requirements. Answer is A. Concentrate on easy orders to maintain high productivity ratios. Question 17. In an attempt to reduce costs associated with information system transactions, which of the following approaches should be considered? A. Discontinue backflushing components. B. Reducing levels in the bill of material. C. Remove the component supermarket. D. Reducing lot sizes of manufactured products. Answer is B. Reducing levels in the bill of material. Question 18. Which of the following are fundamental building blocks for workforce empowerment and engagement? A. Motivation, capability and determination. B. Salary, promotions and bonuses. C. Accountability, responsibility and teamwork. D. Open communication, transparency and trust. Answer is D. Open communication, transparency and trust. Question 19. A reduction in the lead time results from which of the following actions? A. Increase in work in process, increase in throughput. B. Increase in work in process, decrease in throughput. C. Decrease in work in process, increase in throughput. D. Decrease in work in process, decrease in throughput. Answer is C. Decrease in work in process, increase in throughput. Question 20. Which of the following persons has direct responsibility for the accuracy of production activity reporting? A. Controller. B. Shop Supervisor. C. Materials Manager. D. Director of Manufacturing. Answer is B. Shop Supervisor. Question 21. What is a role of a manager using a Kaizen circle for problem solving? A. Recommend and implement solutions. B. Provide technical or administrative service. C. Encourage circle formation and checks progress. D. Provide problem solving training if requested. Answer is C. Encourage circle formation and checks progress. Question 22. Which of the following methods is used to sequence jobs planned for production within the same time period? A. Infinite loading. B. Finite loading. C. Critical ratio. D. Part period balancing. Answer is C. Critical ratio. Question 23. During the defined phase of a Six Sigma project, which of the following activities takes place? A. Describe and chart the process being considered. B. Determine the possible failure modes. C. List the proven root causes of the problem. D. Determine the scope of the project. Answer is D. Determine the scope of the project. Question 24. Manufactured parts are being assembled on a production line at a constant rate when a faulty component is identified. An assembly worker pushes the line stop button and work ceases while the defect is reviewed. This action is an example of A. Hey Jinka. B. Anda. C. Jidoka. D. Kaizen. Answer is C. Jidoka. Question 25. Which of the following steps should be first in determining operation start dates for capacity planning? A. Input slash output control. B. Forward or backward scheduling. C. Finite or infinite loading. D. Order preparation and release. Answer is B. Forward or backward scheduling. Question 26. The actual output of a work center for a given time period can be determined by evaluating the A. Number of standard hours in the queue. B. Number of standard hours per units produced. C. Number of machine hours. D. Amount of rated capacity less rework. Answer is B. Number of standard hours per units produced. Question 27. A manufacturing facility is considering adopting cellular flow. Which of the following factors is most important to consider? A. Availability of shipping methods. B. Maturity of the product line. C. Distance to the supplier. D. Stability of the production schedule. Answer is D. 
Stability of the production schedule. Question 28. A customer has complained that paint is peeling off a product recently purchased from a supplier. A team is formed in the supplier plant to solve the problem and follow these steps. 1. Describe the problem. 2. Identify major categories of causes of the problem. 3. Identify potential causes of the problem. 4. Establish priorities for the probable causes of the problem. 5. Pursue the root cause of the problem by asking why? Which of the following methods best describes the problem-solving approach used by the team? A. Pareto analysis. B. Brainstorming. C. Five whys. D. Fishbone analysis. Answer is D. Fishbone analysis. Question 29. Optimizing a patient intake area for improved workflow is consistent with which 5S principle? A. Sort. B. Set in order. C. Shine. D. Standardize. Answer is B. Set in order. Question 30. Which of the following outcomes are objectives of statistical process control? A. To reduce product returns. B. To stabilize a process. C. To verify a DMAIC project. D. To identify control limits. Answer is B. To stabilize a process. Question 31. Statistical process control is a technique primarily used to A. Implement mistake-proofing techniques. B. Identify special cause variation. C. Reduce preventive maintenance. D. Reduce the number of inspection steps. Answer is B. Identify special cause variation. Question 32. Management most likely would use which of the following tools to improve communication and feedback on daily progress to its employees? A. Newsletters distributed to every worker. B. Wall charts showing standards and actuals. C. Key performance indicators. D. The company's website. Answer is B. Wall chart showing standards and actuals. Question 33. Operation to operation quantity reporting is most important to which of the following production environments? A. Job lot production. B. Process production. C. Repetitive manufacturing. D. Continuous manufacturing. Answer is A. Job lot production. Question 34. Which of the following concepts is a reason to create a visual factory? A. They are more successful because visual systems are more robust. B. They are inexpensive to implement. C. They are more successful because they display well for customer visits. D. They are successful because they are self-explaining and self-improving. Answer is D. They are successful because they are self-explaining and self-improving. Question 35. Which of the following project characteristics would suggest using the PERT technique, rather than the critical path method? A. Estimates of individual task times are probabilistic. B. Project tasks are backward scheduled. C. Due dates are needed to identify critical tasks. D. Project management can determine the critical path. Answer is A. Estimates of individual task times are probabilistic. Question 36. A work center has one machine that is operated for one shift per day. The shop runs an 8-hour shift 5 days per week. Machine utilization has been 60% with efficiency at 80%. A routing through this work center has a standard run time of 0 0.10 hours per piece. Job number 1234 is for 200 pieces. If the utilization is improved to 80%, the difference in calculated lead time for the job is how many days? A. 1.0 B. 1.3 C. 2.1 D. 2.7 Answer is B. 1.3 Question 37 the implementation of a program designed to reduce changeover times will result in a temporary capacity shortage. This shortage will be handled by using some older equipment and by subcontracting some work. Which of the following methods should the company use to control capacity during this period? A. Kanban. B. Demand management. C. Flow control. D. Input slash output control. Answer is D. Input slash output control. Question 38. Based on the theory of constraints, TOC, scheduling approach, smaller lots created as a result of splitting order quantities are considered to be A. Period order quantities B. Bottleneck batches C. Transfer batches D. Campaign orders Answer is C. Transfer batches Question 39 In a work center that requires a large number of tooling changes, the best way to increase productivity is to A. Manage work center queue B. Optimize runtime. 
C. Reduce setup time. D. Implement theory of constraints. Answer is C. Reduce setup time. Question 40. Which item is a role of the Six Sigma champion? A. Acting as an internal Six Sigma consultant. B. Removing barriers the teams encounter. C. Providing technical support and mentoring. D. Identifying possible causes of the problem. Answer is B. Removing barriers the teams encounter. Question 41. To successfully implement a multiple site pickup of parts from different suppliers, it is necessary that A. Customers use contract carriers. B. Suppliers have their products ready at specified times. C. Suppliers be located close to their customers' sites. D. Electronic data interchange be used. Answer is B. Suppliers have their products ready at specified times. Question 42. Proper workplace organization calls for which of the following actions? A. Increasing supervisor oversight. B. Returning frequently used items to a nearby, fixed location. C. Increasing the use of Kanbans. D. Placing all tools in a centrally located tool crib. Answer is B. Returning frequently used items to a nearby, fixed location. Question 43. A production manager uses a Hoshin plan to communicate. A. Financial status. B. Operational issues. C. New ideas. D. Strategy. Answer is D. Strategy. Question 44. During a soldering operation some components were getting damaged due to high temperatures. A fix to eliminate the defect was put into place, which resulted in an ASPC study. B. Six Sigma process. C. Poke yoke. D. 100% inspection. Answer is C. Poke yoke. Question 45. In process improvement, which of the following procedures should be done first? A. Assess employee productivity. B. Analyze process variances. C. Identify process steps. D. Establish priorities for process change. Answer is C. Identify process steps. Question 46. The best way to determine feasibility of the capacity plan for a work center is to use A. Input slash output control. B. Priority sequencing rules. C. Order management processing. D. Rough cut capacity planning. Answer is A. Input slash output control. Question 47. The primary value of a process map is to show A. Product routings between work centers. B. Plant layout. C. Material and operator movements. D. Material and information flow. Answer is D. Material and information flow. Question 48. A work center has a balance between the scheduled input and output over the next four weeks. One of the three machines in the work center will be out of service for one week. Currently, three operators work the first shift, one operator works the second shift, and each has a 40-hour work week. Which of the following actions is best to take to maintain the schedule? A. Move an operator from the first to the second shift. B. Schedule 40 hours of overtime. C. Subcontract 40 hours of work. D. Adjust the input. Answer is A. Move an operator from the first to the second shift. Question 49. Small group improvement activities are most effective when the A group is guided by a professional facilitator. B group focuses on solvable problems. C machine operators are required to participate. D companies industrial engineers participate. Answer is B. Group focuses on solvable problems. Question 50. Operations management should measure the workload resulting from manufacturing orders for which of the following reasons? A. Determining order priority. B. Controlling queues. C. Planning materials. D. Planning yields. Answer is B. Controlling queues.